good afternoon, good evening, whenever it is that you get to see this. My name is Ms. Adri and I'm here to teach you some stuff. And today we are going to be talking about the resignation letter. So let's get started. So as I said, today we are going to be talking about the resignation letter. And you know what? Sometimes we find a better job, we find a better business opportunity, etc. How do we exit from our current jobs? This happens to everybody. You start in one place, then suddenly you gotta go to somewhere else that's gonna give you perhaps more money, a better opportunity to work in a field that you are studying or that you studied. So you ask yourself, how do I write a letter informing my boss that I will be leaving? And how do I make sure that um, I leave my job correctly, uh, as we say in Spanish, con puertas abiertas, which is translated into like the door is always open. And how much notice should you give your employer before you actually leave? Well, I got you covered. First of all, you write a friendly but formal opening. And don't worry, kiddos, I have an example for you guys to see. You can begin with dear Mr. Smith, esteemed so-and-so. Let me get my little pointer out. Here we go. Um, the, to me, the best example is to use dear because it's friendly and yet formal at the same time and you address it to your direct supervisor. You clearly state your intentions for resigning your position and make sure that you give proper notice. This really depends on the company that you're working for, but usually it's around two weeks notice, give or take. It also depends on how high up you are in the company. You clearly state the reasons why you are leaving. You state that you are willing to assist during this transition period. This could mean that you're going to train your replacement, that you will finish up any projects that are left over before you go, etc. Make sure that you thank your employer for the experience. You finish with kind words and you make sure that you have a nice closing. When we say it's a nice closing, you can mention Again, how gr grateful you are for the opportunity of working in this company. You can finish with kind words, with something along the lines. I appreciate so much your time and dedication for helping me to grow as an employee, as a person, things like that. So here I have a quick example that I downloaded off the internet of a professional resignation letter. It's very important that at the top, I'm going to move my mouse around a little bit so you can see it. You write your name, your street address, your city, your state, country, zip code, wherever it is that you live. You write today's date. And when we say today's date, you write the date depending on the amount of time that you need to give in order to resign the job. You write the company's name, the company's address, and you write your supervisor's names, dear so-and-so, et cetera. And you write, please accept the letter. It should say this letter, but you can always edit it. This letter as my formal resignation from, and you write your position name at, you put the name of the company, Effective two weeks from today, this goes by, uh, go back, goes back to what I mentioned, that usually a lot of companies give, uh, ex ex expect, expect their employees to give two weeks notice, and you give the future date, which will be your last day. That's why it's important to write down the date that you're going to hand this in two weeks before your last day. You can write something along the lines during my time at whatever the name of the company. I have been fortunate for the opportunity to grow and learn about whatever industry you're working with, food, beverage, hospitality, retail, etc. Your guidance and support have well prepared, have prepared me well for the future. You can always switch around the words. I hope that we will have opportunities to collaborate in the future. Please let me know that how I can be of help during the transition period. I wish you and the company the very best going forward. Ooh, excuse me, sorry. Sincerely, and you sign it, and your name. When you sign it, it's good to have two copies or three copies of the resignation letter. 
one, the one that you print out and you sign it and you put your name. And this is the one that you physically give to your supervisor. Second one, you scan the one you printed with your signature and you take a picture with your phone or you scan it with your phone, et cetera, and you send it via email. Third one, you can have that same one that you sent digitally as a copy for your personal records. Why do I recommend this? Because sometimes you might have had a good experience with a company, et cetera, but sometimes companies try to be sneaky and they might try to, for example, say, oh, no, we never got that. Oh, he or she handed it in person and never received my hands. That way you have a copy and you have proof that you actually sent out the, the letter. All right, kids, that was today's very brief lesson on how to write a resignation letter. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, write them down in the comment. I will be more than happy that to help you out. And please remember to follow me in on social media. I'm on all the social media platforms, and I hope you have a great day, and good luck writing those resignation letters if you need them.